Between 1909 and 1953, some 30,000 Morgan three-wheelers were built in Malvern, England. This F-22 Cedar built in 1936 is one of the last examples of a very special type of vehicle. It took more than a year to restore the vintage car to its original condition. Morgan's reasons for building the three-wheeler were not so much technical as economic. Jens Stöwe from a Morgan dealership in Düsseldorf explains that back then vehicle tax made driving a four-wheeled vehicle very expensive in England. But there was the option of registering a three-wheeled vehicle as a motorcycle. That made mobility much more affordable for young families. Since 2012, this piece of automotive history has returned in the form of a new model. For Jens and the many other three-wheeler enthusiasts around the world, it's a special comeback. Despite the modern technology under the hood, drivers can feel like they're sitting behind the wheel of a rolling time machine. Where else can you putter down the road in such style? Jens Stöver says that part of the appeal of driving a three-wheeler is in the purism of it. Unlike with a four-wheeled car, you feel your surroundings more immediately. There's no windshield, no side windows, so you experience everything more intensely. Some things never change. Morgan has been building vehicles for more than 100 years, and even in 2014, all its products have one thing in common. They're made by hand. At Malvern, some 200 kilometers northwest of London, 200 mechanics and engineers assemble around 1,000 vehicles each year. The SNS V2 engine has 82 horsepower. Its five-speed transmission is from the Mazda MX-5. Weighing only 525 kilograms, the Morgan reaches a speed of 185 kilometers per hour. But this snazzy set of wheels isn't a budget option. It costs upwards of 42,300 euros, but it does come with an exciting bit of automotive history. Jens explains that Morgan started making three-wheelers in 1909, and they were so popular, the company decided to make more. Company founder Henrik Frederik Stanley decided to start limited production, for which he expanded his factory. But demand was so great, he kept expanding production until the three-wheeler was built continually every year from 1909 until 1952. And to good last, was the three-wheeler from 1909 to 1952 built, always continuously. In Germany, the Vehicle Licensing Authority classifies three-wheelers as neither car nor motorcycle, but as a separate class of their own. The Morgan's driving quality is nothing to sneeze at, even on turns. In the past, People in Britain even took part in motorsports with the three-wheelers. Those trials are no longer held today, but it's enough of an adventure to simply pilot a three-wheeler through the streets. It's like a combination of driving a soapbox car and flying a double-decker. The lack of a windshield means you're likely to have to pick bugs out of your teeth. And if it rains, you're out of luck. It's a truly authentic driving experience. As Jens points out, driving a three-wheeler is more like riding a motorcycle with a similar feeling of immediacy.